Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 34, and today we're talking about the parametric EQ module located in the FX section. Now on our drop-down menu here, it is on the fourth row, on the fourth one over, labeled Param EQ. Now, you might just be thinking, okay, cool, we have an EQ, but this is a very good sounding EQ, and you can have a lot of the EQs with all these different slots, and it's something that I really like about pigments and how it was designed. I don't really find myself leaving the synth for a lot of post effects and that makes it easier because when you save a patch and you give out a patch or you get patches, a lot of the stuff is already in house and it's done. You don't need to add an extra EQ or, you know, you make a patch in a different synth and you have to use external this or external that or something like that, external distortion. Pigments kind of has a lot of that stuff built into it. So diving into this module, we have five bands here. We have a low shelf, we have a high shelf, and then three bands that we can do what we want as well. And it's pretty self-explanatory. We have the peak one frequency, so wherever we want to locate whatever frequency we want to target, the gain plus and minus, and then the width, the Q of that band there. We can also alternatively grab these dots and move these around and kind of hone in like that if we wanted to do something like that. That's also another way you can do it. If you're kind of sweeping something, you can kind of put it up high and kind of just find that frequency that you want to cut. And then you can put it here. And then once you have it located, then you can just go down to the knob and then get and bring it down exactly like you want to do. Because I wouldn't want to like find something like this when you're when you're sweeping and then bring it down because your mouse might move while you're bringing it down. So it's good to sweep it and find it and then reach for the knob later. So you're not going to be moving your, the, uh, your band there left or right. So... That's basically something I wanted to point out. And what's cool is the scale knob over here. So let's say we have something like this. Let's make some interesting changes here that we can see. Now, if we have the scale knob and we drag this to the left, what's gonna happen, although we don't really see it in the graph, this is a scaling of the EQ gain. So if we have this shape that we like, but it's a little bit too drastic, we can drag down this scale and, and reduce whatever moves that we have done. And if we drag our mouse over this, this has a global scaling on the EQ gain. So it's a very helpful knob that you can kind of dial in your, your EQ. You like the shape, but maybe it's a little too much. So that's kind of why you don't want to reach for that scale knob. So that's pretty much this EQ in a nutshell. The low shelf and the high shelf are pretty self-explanatory with the high cues as well. We also have some different presets here. If you want to look at things like that, that's kind of what the brighter looks like. It looks a little drastic to me, but hey, you know, it might work for your sounds. So yeah, that's basically the EQ in a nutshell and the final video of the FX modules. I know it has been lengthy, but I think each one deserves its own separate video and to be talked about by itself. Now, moving on from here, we're going to be talking about the sequencer tab over here with the arpeggiator and how you can do a lot of cool stuff and make some interesting sounds with kind of minimal effort that sounds pretty awesome. So look forward to that coming soon and we'll see you in the next video.